final strike. One of the most difficult levels in the whole entire game. Do you happen to be stuck on this level? Have you ever tried to follow all the other guys and they all have levels 12 scrolls and you don't? Does this level bring you immense pain? So anyways, I'm gonna relieve that pain for you. Today, I'm gonna show you how to beat Final Strike without spending money on the game. And by the way, this guide was made after the silence buff. In the first half of this video, I'm gonna go into great detail into every single little thing you need for this fight. It's gonna be a really long explanation, so you can kinda skip ahead in the video if you want. And in the second half of the video, I'm gonna show you footage of me beating Final Strike and every single little timing that you need to do. Use the timestamps to skip to the part you need or wanna watch. So anyways, if you know the enemy and you know yourself, you need not fear the results of 100 battles. So what this quote is trying to say is, we need to know what our enemy is. So, Licorice Cookie and Pomegranate are Dark Enchantress support units. Avogados there to just inflict a ton of silence debuffs, and it's just so annoying. So all the information I just gave you is kind of useless on its own, but there's two important factors. One, the enemies are cookies, and two, Dark Enchantress is stun immune. So now it's time to talk about team composition. So I'm forced to use the Ancient Heroes of course, but I decided to use Espresso and Black Pearl. So here's why I decided to use Espresso. So Espresso's magic candy, it gives an effect where he deals insane amount of damage to targets that are stun immune. So remember how I said that Dark Enchantress is stun immune? Well that means Espresso will deal insane damage to her. And I also chose to use Black Pearl Cookie because she's OP. And she deals the most AoE damage in the whole game currently. And another really important thing, she deals damage proportional to a cookie's max HP. And the enemies are cookies, so she does extra damage. Also, if you don't have Black Pearl, then you're not gonna beat this level, so you better get Black Pearl first. And I just gotta say, Black Pearl is like the best AoE damager because she helped me beat Master Mode, and I didn't need to end up spending money on this game. Also, Espresso and Black Pearl actually have insane synergy with Dark Cacao. So, Espresso and Black Pearl, they group the enemies together into the center, and then Dark Cacao can hit the enemies in the center with his sword. So the reason why this is important is because the enemies can be spread out like this to the left and to the right, and then Dark Cacao will miss his attack, and he'll end up not hitting the people on the far left and far right, and that'll be a loss of DPS. Now, let's talk about Pure Vanilla. So I'm actually gonna run full damage resist toppings on Pure Vanilla right now because if you don't spend money on the game, Pure Vanilla just dies really fast. So now let's talk about the treasures and how it relates to Pure Vanilla. So I'm using a level 8 scroll. Yeah, no level 12 scroll here. I don't brute force my way through levels. And then we have level 12 watch and then we have a level 12 scythe. So the scythe is actually really important. So Pure Vanilla doesn't really heal that much if he's using full damage resist toppings. So to counter that, I use the scythe. So then whenever Pure Vanilla scores a critical hit heal, then he can heal like a huge chunk of HP. Like just look at that critical heal right there. That's like so much HP healed. So that's why we need to use the scythe. And also the scythe also boosts the damage of all the other cookies. And we do not need the enchanted robes for this because we don't have Caramel Arrow in the team. And Hollyberry's role in the party, well, she doesn't actually really do much except give everybody a little bit of damage resist. Pretty self-explanatory. Now, let's talk about the toppings. For Hollyberry, I kinda just used the default toppings because I ran out of almonds. So I'll go to Dark Account last because I need to go to Espresso first. So Espresso needs full damage resist with at least 49% damage resist. 40% damage resist won't cut it, you need 49%. All the other stats don't really matter that much. Black Pearl, so she has a mix, 2 almonds, 3 raspberries. The attack, it doesn't really matter that much, but the more the better. But damage resist, you need at least, I'd say 35% damage resist. Any lower than that and she'll die instantly. And also try to get as much cooldown as possible, I have 4.7% but it could be better. So here's the importance of the substats in order, damage resist, cooldown, and then attack, and then crit percent. Well you don't really need crit percent at all, but it, you know, it helps a little bit. Pure vanilla, you need as much damage resist as possible, I have 47%. So I'd say at least 45% damage resist is fine, and go for as much cooldown as possible, attack doesn't really matter that much. Now Dark Cacao, so he's more tanky than the rest of the party, so you can throw all your leftover almond toppings on him. Mine has 44% damage damage resist, but I'd say 40% damage resist is all you need. And some extra cooldown as a subset would be nice and even attack. 
So I'm gonna quickly talk about why I'm not gonna use a clear Wildberry or a Karma Arrow. So a clear and Wildberry, they just don't do enough damage for me since I don't have a level 12 scroll. So I need more damage. And Karma Arrow, I don't know why, but she just never really worked for me. I think it's because like my enchanted ropes are only level 8 and like, you know, she needs level 12 ropes to do decent damage in that level. So don't use Karma Arrow if you're free to play. Now let's talk about base stats. Things like promotion and laboratory upgrades. So Espresso, you absolutely need at least 5 star. 4 star won't work, I tried it like multiple times. I might or might not have spent like 10,000 mileage on him today, but you need 5 star. And for his magic candy, you need at least plus 25, any lower than that and it won't work. If you have plus 30 magic candy, then the level will be even easier. Black Pearl, you can get away with 0 stars. Yes, 0 stars. But if you had to choose to like whale on a cookie, then whale on Black Pearl because she does the most damage in this level. Dark Cacao, I'm not really sure how many stars you need. I have 2 stars. So if you have more than 2 stars, then you're good. But I think that 0 stars can work too. For Holly Berry, you should only use your own Hollyberry if you have 4 stars or more, otherwise just use the default Hollyberry. So pure vanilla stars don't really matter because you kinda have to use your own pure vanilla no matter what, but the more stars the better. So if you're watching this part of the video, then I'm gonna let you in on a little bit of a free to play secret. So this is how I make my cookies really strong. So my statue of heroic radiance is level 42. So if you don't spend money on this game, you need at least a level 40 statue to beat this level. And you know, this statue is just super OP. Like it carried me through master mode and everything. Now let's talk about laboratory upgrades. For HP bonus 1, you need all level 7. For defense bonus 1, you need all level 7. I have level 8 here, but level 7 is fine. For attack bonus 1, you need level 7 on the first 8. But for the all cookies attack bonus, you need plus 10. If you have it completely maxed out, it's super OP. For HP bonus 2, you need plus 7. Defense bonus 2, plus 7. But for crit damage bonus, you need it completely maxed out. It's also really OP. And then finally, attack bonus 2, all plus 7. Wow, we've been here a long time. But now it's time to show you how I beat this level, and also all the little timings and stuff that you need to follow. So, let's go. First of all, you must turn off auto and use 1.0 speed. If you don't, then you have a skill issue. Right here, Black Pearl, Espresso, Dark Account, and Hollyberry should have their skills up very soon, so spam all four of those skills, but hold on to your vanillas. Right here, spam all the skills as soon as possible except for pure vanillas. Use pure vanilla skills when Black Pearl Cookie's skill is at 2 seconds. So while the dialogue rolls, then you want to spam click where Espresso's skill is because you want to pop off his skill right away. Right here, you want to spam the skills as fast as possible, except for pure vanillas. Make sure you do not use pure vanilla skill yet. So the Cake Witch is gonna lift up his gigantic spear and whack your cookies with it. So you want to use pure vanilla skill right after it slams your cookies with it. So, the reason why I time pure vanilla skill like this is so that his shields can reflect some of the damage that is done by Dark Enchantress flamethrower attack. Now, from this point on, you just want to spam the skills as fast as possible. This is why we do not want to use auto or 1.5 speed because you need to have perfect timing. Like, you gotta use them as soon as possible. The reason why you want to use these skills as fast as possible is so you have enough damage to kill the actual boss. So, do not use 1.5 speed, I swear. Notice how Espresso and Black Pearl pull the cookies in so Dark Cacao can hit all of them with his sword so he increases his own DPS. Yeah, it's really good. I also want to point out that I've been playing this game every single day for 10 months straight so that's probably why I can beat this level. I also want to point out that you need a lot of luck to beat this level. So I'm using the Scythe so I can get more critical hits. And Pure Vanilla's heal critical hits are like so important, so if he doesn't like critical heal, then you're kinda screwed. 
So, yeah, it's just all luck. It takes, like, multiple attempts. Like, yeah, it just took me, like, 50 attempts to beat it for the first time. I also want to say that Black Pearl is so OP. Like, she carried me through Master Mode and everything. Like, not even kidding. So, yeah, you need Black Pearl. You might have noticed, but I actually use this music a lot in my videos, mainly because it's not copyright, so yeah, you're gonna hear just a lot. So Black Pearl doesn't really do that much damage to Dark Enchantress herself, so that's why we have Espresso. He does insane damage to stun immune enemies. So we're gonna cut it really close, like every second on the timer matters. And there we have it, that's how a free to play beat Final Strike. Now subscribe, because like, just do it okay? Just subscribe. And here's the damage output, Black Pearl OP, and yeah that's it, subscribe. <laughs>